Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. <laughs> you can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, magical, magical things that you do. Because I love your type, too. So, I'm going to slap down the holy water. Oh, boy. And it is cold holy water. I need it. Oh, boy. It's so hot in here. I can't wait till this heat is over. It's just... Oh, 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 oh. It's miserable. <laughs> the only uh, time I get to be in cool places when I go to work, there's air conditioning there. So now I'm enjoying work so much because there's the air conditioning. But it's still hotter than hell. <laughs> oh, it is. Because I got to be outside too. So, oh yeah, it's great when I have to go outside. Anyway, enough about that. So, Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T.T. T. Dong, presiding. They all playing in your birthday suit. That's not really Tarot in my birthday suit. That's exactly what I'm doing. So, we're going to check in on the energy of the person you're dealing with, or whatever energy might be coming towards you, my beautiful loves. Whatever the case is, we're going to get I gotta decompress here, guys. Give me just a second. Okay, I think I'm good. Show. pesos here. Down on the table we have got the ace of pentacles, we've got the six of pentacles, we've got the queen of pentacles, the overall energy for the reading here. And somebody feels like there's something they need to walk away from here. I don't know what this person feels like they need to walk away from, but they walked away from something here, okay? Ace of pentacles, this is my land hook. Uh, doors, remember the doors. That's a great song. Land ho, land ho. Oh, that's a great song. Okay, so Pisces, somebody's showing up here in a boat full of money. Okay, at the end of the day, <laughs> that would be so great if somebody showed up in a boat full of money. But whatever the case is, this person's feeling very confident. Okay, so there's some kind of that this person's feeling confident for whatever reason. I mean, I'd feel confident too if I had a boat full of money. Six of Pentacles down here on the table. Um, Pisces, this person's needing some help here to like overcome some kind of difficult situation here, okay? And I don't know what that is. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles down here on the table, Pisces. Well, this poor Queen of Pentacles here, um, you know, she is, it's like, she's got, She's been busy, this person's been busy working, or you, this could be your energy or their energy, but the energy that it holds is that this person here has been working their butt off here and hardly getting in any money here, okay? Like, not a lot of money, okay? So working the ass off here, working your keister off here, somebody is, and they're not getting a lot of money. So let's talk about the six of pen and see what this person is needing help with. So what is this person needing help with? they're needing help with temperance so temperance here is what it's a card of 
restraint. It could be restraining from drinking here. They could be needing help with, yeah, restraining from drinking. Or it also is, you know, known as, you know, putting your foot in the water to test things out. So maybe they're needing help to figure out where the situation is going here, okay? So what's going on here with the temperance to the six of pen? Whew, shuffle truffle. What's going on here with temperance to the six of pen, please? Oh. Temperance to the six, ouch, ouch, my finger is sore. Temperance to the six of pentacles. One of those cards got under my finger the other day, and it really, it, it hurts. It's painful. Okay. Okay. So, I feel like this person's needing help expressing themselves. Yeah. They're needing help to be able to express themselves. Why is this person needing help to be able to express themselves? Why are they needing help to be able to express themselves? Okay, because if they feel like there's a block here in communication, okay? There's a block here in communication, okay? So it's like you guys are talking, but it's like all surface level. It's like, how you doing? Good. That's good. You doing good? Yeah, I'm good. That's good. How's the weather? It's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, it's pretty bad it's hot. Yeah, I know that's true. It's kind of like that. So it's like the communication here isn't very fluid. And it's like this person's looking to you. So maybe this person here wants to express themselves, right? And they get all dressed up and fixed up and then they're going to be like, I'm going to tell Pisces how I express, I'm going to tell Pisces how I'm feeling. And then something happens, you know, something happens. By the time they've worked up, you know, enough balls to say what they want to say, then something happens. And then they're like, right back, they're like, oh, I'm going to tell Pisces how, how I'm feeling here. And then they're like, are you good? Yeah, I'm good. That's good. You're good. And then you're like, oh, I'm glad you're good. Yeah, me too. I'm glad I'm good too. Glad you're doing good. So there's something deeper here, okay, that this person wants to pour out here. So what is the deeper emotion here that this person wants to pour out? What is the deeper emotion here? Yep, this is just a repeating message here. And what are they wanting to tell Pisces with the Ace of Swords? What are they wanting to tell Pisces with the Ace of Swords? Pisces, there's been a change here. What's the change? What's the change? It's another repeating message. Okay, so what do you want to say with the Page of Swords? That's so funny. What do you want to say with the Page of Swords? What do you want to say with the Page of Swords? There's been a change. There's been a lot of drama going on. Oh my God. <laughs> Things have changed in my life. Uh, I've, I've, there's, there's been drama in my life, and it's like, what have they done with this drama? What have they done with this drama? Well, they cleared out the drama, okay? So, Pisces, basically, I've, I, things have changed. There's been an ending, a sudden transformation here. I'm not dealing with any drama anymore, and I've cleared the path here. So, why has this person cleared the path? Well, I know why they cleared the path. You know, they cleared the path because it's basic common sense to eliminate drama, okay? So they've eliminated the drama, okay? So why is the Queen of Pentacles down here on the table? Why is the Queen of Pentacles down here on the table? Oh, boy, Pisces. Oh, boy. Oh, oh it's the Three of Swords here. So, Pisces, this person's feeling like there's distance here. Pisces and their person. Why is this person feeling distance? They're feeling distant here because you've been out doing other things, okay? You've been out, hanging out, getting together with friends. You get a lot of attention. And so basically right now this person's heartbroken here. 
that you've been going out with friends here, um, that there's been this distance here. Oh boy, okay. So what's this person needing the self-confidence to do with the Ace of Pentacles? What is this person needing this to communicate? And what do they want to communicate to the Pisces? Okay, and about what they've seen. What have they seen? That they want a new beginning. Yep, with the wheel crossing the fool. This person is very, very serious here. They're wanting a new beginning here, okay? They're wanting to go on the journey. They're feeling self-confident right now, okay? But they're needing the self-confidence to be able to talk here. And they're very anxious here about this conversation here. But they feel like they're going to give this their all. They're in their purest of hearts right now when it comes to this situation here, okay? So they're a little bit, you know, this person's a little bit upset right now that you've been out hanging out. Oh boy, Pisces. So we're gonna go ahead <laughs> and get the final messages and then I'm gonna do one card for each sign. What else do you wanna tell Pisces? What else do you want to tell Pisces? And then I'm gonna watch some Urban Cowboy. Okay, this person wants a situation to transform. Okay. Okay, yep, it's the death card just reiterating what I just said down the center column here about this person's had a change and that their whatever problems that they've had in their past are gone here, okay? And they've cleared the path here because it's just common sense to clear out all this negative energy that they were dealing with. And yeah, you got an important conversation coming from this person for sure. So that's not for every single one. And no, I can't predict the time. I am not the time lord, or the gatekeeper of time here, okay? I wish I was. If I was the gatekeeper of time, I would be working for NASA. So let's go ahead. Pisces dealing with Pisces. How does Pisces feel about Pisces? Pisces feels, Pisces is in love with you. Uh, Cancer, how do you feel about Pisces? Cancer. Cancer wants a serious relationship with you. Scorpio. Scorpio. Scorpio feels like you're very controlling. Oh my God. Uh, Aries. Sure, Aries. Aries is obsessed with you. Leo. Leo. Boy. Leo. Leo. Wake up. Wake me up. Before you go, go, don't leave me hanging all around a solo. Okay, um, Leo here, this is new love. They're feeling this new love energy towards you. Um, Sag. Sagi, how do you feel about Pisces? Sagi, Sagi, Sagi. You would like another second chance, um, and they're going through a hard time right now. Uh, Libra. Libra thinks that you are very attractive. Uh, Gemini? Gemini, right in between my boobies. Okay, uh, Gemini is feeling like the situation uh, is needing to be balanced here. Okay, all right. Aquarius? Aquarius, how do you feel about Pisces, Aquarius? You make Aquarius very happy. Uh, Virgo? Virgo, Virgo. Virgo is going to get your attention by doing something strange or wild. Uh, Taurus? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Taurus feels like everything has been going good between the two of you. Uh, Cappy? Cappy, how do you feel about Pisces, Cap? Cappy? Cappy, 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 Cappy. Uh, they think that they think highly of you and they think that you are one powerful individual. So 